Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, I am the American Canadian Gamer, and today I want to give you some basic tips for Halo 5's multiplayer. Now these are not expert level pieces of advice intended to propel you to the top of the leaderboards, these are merely simple observations that I have made over the course of playing the game. However, I do believe that they are important basics that every player can build from. So, without further ado, let us begin. Now the first thing that I cannot stress more than enough is that you need to learn how to use the Magnum. This is the best that the weapon has been since combat evolved and everybody's been talking about it. It is very good, very reliable, very accurate, has great range, has a good rate of fire, it is a good weapon and you spawn with it as a secondary in most game types. It can go toe to toe with pretty much every weapon in the game because it only requires 5 shots to kill if you get a headshot. To be honest, the only true downside of this weapon is that even if you have a full magazine, you're going to only get two kills at the most before you need to reload, and that's assuming that you're fighting two players who have full shields and whatnot. If you combine it with grenades or fight injured players, of course you're going to get more, but it has a 12 round magazine and requires five shots to kill. You do the math. But it's still a very good weapon, and while it does technically get outclassed by many other weapons in the game like the uh, Battle Rifle and DMR, in most one-on-one -on -one confrontations, it's a solid, reliable choice, and it's definitely a weapon you need to learn how to use. Once you get used to the game, make it a point to learn how to use the Magnum, because it will be your best friend in pretty much every single match. Trust me on that. Secondly, don't be too aggressive. Now, with each player having infinite sprint by default, it's very easy to fall into the trap of just sprinting into danger and immediately dying. And it's something that I'm honestly still trying to figure out myself and keep myself from doing it. And in the match that you're watching, it did help me quite a bit. All I had to do was tell myself, hey, slow down, take your time, figure out what you're doing before you're doing it. Because in Halo, and really any first person shooter or any competitive game, you always want to be very aware of your surroundings. And when you're sprinting at top speed, you have much less time to register who or what is around you, and you're also more likely to miss small blips on your radar since they may only appear for a few short frames. Now sprinting is a valuable ability. It's good for making escapes, pushing to strategic positions, and coming to the aid of teammates, but it's very easy to get into the habit of sprinting at every opportunity, which only increases the chances of literally running into a situation that you are not prepared for. So just slow down and remember the golden rule. It's better to die less than to kill more. That's just a very simple rule to follow in Halo in general, so keep that in mind. Next up is a simple rule, just don't get greedy. Sharing power weapons is vital to the success of any team, and there are very few circumstances where you should have both a rocket launcher and a sniper rifle since you can only use one of them at a time. Now it's better that you have one of them and a teammate has the other, because then you spread that power across your entire team. Not only does that help solidify a good lead, but if you die, the opposing team does not gain access to both weapons. And now there are times when it is appropriate to grab a second power weapon, but if you get the opportunity, drop one of them for a teammate, because it's much harder for the other team to counter two players with power weapons than one. Next, just keep an eye on the kill feed because Halo has finally updated its kill feed to be more modern, and it actually shows the weapons that were used with each kill, instead of saying, XX Super Saiyan Sethiroth XX has killed Donkey Kong Jr. the third. It just actually will say like, so-and-so used the assault rifle to kill this person, or used the sniper rifle to kill this person. This is a very simple tip, but this information is actually very valuable because you can see what weapons people are using. You can see who has the sniper rifle, who has the rocket launcher. You can say like, oh, an X just popped up on my screen. You see that they got killed with a sniper, and you know that there's a sniper watching that position. Very, very simple tip but it's something definitely to keep an eye on, and you can get little bits of information from it, and information is always powerful. Next up, get creative with your thruster pack and the mantle system, because Halo is now more mobile than ever, and you can use your newfound abilities to reach positions much more efficiently than you ever could before. 
For instance, in this match, I use a horizontal thrust to my left while in the air in order to enter a room through the window instead of walking through the door like some sort of savage. Use your creativity to find the most efficient paths through each map, and you'll be able to dominate your opponents through sheer momentum. And last, but certainly not least, losing is okay. I am a firm believer in the idea that you get better at games by repeatedly getting your ass kicked and learning from those experiences. Now, when you play against people that are better than you, as long as you pay attention to what you're doing and what they are doing, you will get better as well. And if you see a player completely dominate a match, go back into theater mode and watch them. See what they did, compare it to what you did, compare it to what you would have done, and see where that takes you. Because just playing match after match after match after match won't make you better. You have to make it a point to become better. You have to tell yourself, I'm going to become a better player, and you have to take steps in order to do that. Don't make excuses. Don't blame luck or lag. Just play, focus, and learn. There's no shame in losing, and there's no shame in losing badly. There will always be better players than you, and that's just a fact of the game. So we're going to use a basic rule here. Don't play to beat the other players. Play to beat yourself. Play to make yourself better. Because six months from now, you may lose a match horribly. But if you look back at how you played today, you may play significantly better. And you can say, I am still better now than I was back then. And you always have a goal. There's always going to be better players. You're always going to have the ability to get better. And that's not a bad thing. Losing is not a bad thing. I'm just going to leave it at that. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My basic tips for Halo 5's multiplayer. Nothing super in-depth or analytical. Just the basics of what I think is required to begin competing in the arena. And once you've mastered what I've gone over in this video, you can begin moving on to better strategies and tips that come from much better players than myself. Also... Do you have any tips for beginning players? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, and I'll see you next time.